contemporary practice research essay video number three. Now returning um, to the advice that Rebecca had given me about the idea of a crime board or mind maps which we'd um, discussed, I kind of got a little bit bogged down um, because obviously you get to a point where you do all your research and this essay was going round and round with how to approach it, what's the best way um, to deliver. Obviously you can do all the note making and all the research that you want but at, um, at some point you've still got to come up with a product. And I think I kind of um, feel that I'm working to a format, I'm working in the right direction and I kind of feel that to a point you do collate all this, this advice and this research but you've got to make a re an essay that um, says or talks about me as a person um, even though it is a research essay, it has an element of education, an element of an argument, critical ideas, critical thinking. Um, and I think I kind of, it, it does go back to, um, I've possibly put a connotation of negativity into this essay um, because I'll put my hands up. I do struggle and it has been an ongoing thing with my OCA studies and I do try to bring this on board um, with my reflective ideas that I know it's not the strongest area. Um, so what I did or what I've decided to do, which I don't know, maybe um, just to put a, a little bit of sparkle back into um, the writing element of things, was to maybe start to consider um, making my research just that little bit um, more visual. So as the essay had started to process and progress I'd come across where scientists and textile designers um, start to educate each other and discovered that the, the, the Dutch um, are very very into much uh, their, their textual um, research and and inventing and developing um, fabrics and so forth, there actually did come across um, an interesting um, new science where new bacteria <coughs> is cultured so that basically the diarrhea um, or the faeces or the urine of the bacteria is passed away and it generates a pigmentation which is scientifically being discovered to become or to be used as a coating for fabrics um, to make an antibacterial material. So this kind of gave me a little bit of an incentive to start to feel and think a little bit visual. So with my mind maps and crime board, I'd started to go more visual with the mind mapping, which again started to make it a little bit more what I wanted to use and what I didn't want to use, um, and started to make the paperwork that you accumulate during your um, practice more relevant um, and I was able to start to push aside any information that had started to still be relevant but I wasn't going to use basically within the assignment. So then what I started um, to look at, which I did include in the PowerPoint, I just played around with a few ideas just to kind of give me a little bit of a break from the assignment and I, I learnt this um, through uh, contemporary context that sometimes it is a good idea to run just a little mini project alongside the main projects that you're working with. So for a little bit of fun I just got some calico fabric and I got some food colouring um, sewing machine and beetroot juice and so forth and just started to play around with some imagery and staining a few samples um, just to um, start to make 
the assignment more visual um, because as I'd started to look into the de science of the scientist and the textile um, designer, that started to emerge that the bacteria cells um, were very visual. So I did kind of include this in my PowerPoint essay um, and it seemed to kind of make me feel as though I was a textile designer working with um, bacteria cells and I think also as well I took on board that I think it kind of is quite a scary, quite a scary, you know, topic and environment to be working um, with and obviously with the the current circumstances at the moment with um, our own pandemic it started to make the essay um, and the research more relevant and make the assignment have an element of seriousness um, and quite a, a you know serious subject matter so and I think it kind of did, did, did help because of me being such a visual learner I'd started to collate and, and make an area um, of things that were relevant um, and also as well you know to to work in a similar sort of format looking at you know with interior um, textiles and knitted textiles and learning about wool and its natural um, bacteria properties and then obviously as we start to develop start to develop with the research and the visual ideas and my own personal knowledge started to uh, work with the materials that we are actually um, incurring on a daily basis our antibacterial fabrics face masks and antibacterial hand wipes which i have included included within the essay um, because i do feel it's possibly my personal connotation and take on it as a textile practitioner and obviously on a daily basis this is what we're now incurring. So again, I have found um, this extra support within the, the research and the developing of this essay um, to try and move things forward. My video number four will be the final conclusion for um, how I have started to think about the presentation of the essay in a slideshow format with images and so forth and also um, I've started to play with the ideas of um, a document to make it a little bit formal but I think what I will do in video four is just to um, reflect over the areas of difficulties that I did come across um, with the essay um, so there we go.